This tutorial shows the step-by-step -step instructions for this lesson in the Omega Learning Guide. At the end of this lesson, your job should look something like this. To begin this lesson, we must first create a job using the skills we learned in previous chapters. Refer to the Omega Learning Guide for specific job properties and detailed step-by-step -step instructions for the first part of this lesson. Once you have successfully created the job, be sure to save your work in the My Lessons folder. We will now add shapes to segment the design. Select the Circle tool. Click and drag an oval approximately 8 inches high and 14 inches long around the text. Click the Selection tool to select the oval. Click Shape, Absolute Size. Choose Non-Uniform from the Size Type box. Enter 8 for the height and 14 for the length. Then click OK. Next, select and group all the text together. Click Select All to select the entire design. Click Arrange Justify and select the Horizontal Center and Vertical Center Justify buttons, then click OK. Next, draw a thin box under the text by Permit Only. Use the Selection tool to adjust the shape and size as needed. Using the Box tool or the Border tool, create a rectangle 9 inches by 23 inches. If using the Box tool, draw the box, then enter the appropriate values in the Absolute Size dialog box. Using the Selection tool, click and drag the rectangle into position around the text and oval. With the rectangle selected, click Tools Outline. The Outline dialog box will open. Choose Round in the Pass 1 box, choose 1 in the Number of Outlines box, and enter 0.3 for the outline distance and click OK. Select the original rectangle and the outline, then click Arrange Group. Import and position a library file of a campfire by clicking File Import. The Import dialog box will open. Navigate to the Learning folder on your hard drive. Choose the Fire GCA file and click Import. Select the fire graphic and drag it to the left side of the rectangle. Increase the size of the graphic so that both the top and the bottom overlap the outlined rectangle. Click Shape Absolute Size, choose Non-Uniform and enter 10.5 for the height and 6.5 for the length. Select the fire graphic and drag it to the left side of the rectangle so that both the top and the bottom of the graphic overlap. We will now use Detail Edit and the Find Intersections command to combine the fire graphic and the outlined rectangle. Using the Selection tool and holding down the Shift key, Select the fire graphic and the outline rectangle, which should be grouped. Click Detail Edit, Fine Intersections. The Properties toolbar will open because you are now using Detail Edit tools. Click on the Detail Edit toolbox so that the Detail Edit toolbar opens. This is another useful toolbar, so let's dock it up on the screen. With the Detail Edit tool selected, click the Zoom In tool and marquee select the top of the fire. Use the finger of the tool to select all the segments of the box and outline that overlap the flame. Click Delete to erase. There should now be four open points as indicated by circles. Click the Join Open Shapes button in the Detail Edit toolbar and marquee select each open point. The points will become closed as indicated by boxes. Scroll down to the bottom of the fire graphic and use the same procedure to edit the segments of the box and outline that overlap the fire logs. Be sure to save your work when you are finished. This concludes this lesson.
Be sure to check if there are any exercises or tip videos associated with this lesson before continuing. For more information on this and other topics, please consult the Omega Help file or press F1 in Composer.